the finger. Jordan. Hey folks, welcome back to NBA Basement, the show with classic NBA material. In today's video we will take you on a journey to the golden age of NBA basketball. The toughest league, the toughest era, and the best basketball. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Jordan was going to do and then if Jordan committed then passed the ball to Curtis. Mike on a turnaround jumper. Michael Jordan extends to a 7-2 lead. Magic said you got to try and put all that on the shelf and move ahead with the game but a lot of times that's easier said than done. They hit their first four shots. Nice ball movement. Beautiful give and go. That was beautiful basketball. The old give and go play pass and keep going to the basket. Uh, got it back. Drexler got it back for the easy two. Hard by getting the position. Finding Jordan. Michael Jordan. This is Michael Jordan. Jordan with his third field goal is off to that fast start. He has nine points. Here's Grexler, and he is half digit your figures, and it was so successful in the field. Both teams just filling each other out, trying to make the adjustments. But Williams got the step. Kept home by Drexler. The offensive goal ten that Chicago wanted, if the ball is in the cylinder or on the rim, you cannot definitely an offensive goal ten. Chicago was right. Here's George. Percy played him well. See, when Kersey ran out after Michael shot the ball, Michael was waiting for Drexler. Nobody is back to cover Kersey. As a result, there's a transition defensive play. Duckworth over to Hell. Shot clock at five. Jordan. We'll go to the foul line. You're going to catch teams in rotations. When you're rotating on defense, it's hard to have a good base to move your feet. Jordan putting it on the floor takes advantage of that. Easily. Fly was in the lane and tried to run out at Michael. Seven, 18. Nice entry pass for Dressler. Well, the assist for Porter. Battle between Grant and Williams down low. Jordan setting up Cartwright. Yes, Bill Cartwright. Bulls lead by 11. Two and a half to go in the first. Dressler. That's his fourth field goal. The Drexler shot off. Williams couldn't get to it. And back come the Bulls. It's a four on two. Grant. It's an offensive foul. The reason, the reason for the offensive foul is the Chicago Bulls had bad spacing. They did not spread out. 5 24. Chicago has hit 13 of 19 from the field. Make it 14 of 20. Jordan, four for seven. He's scoring off the defense. Jordan with a series of head fakes sets up Armstrong. Yes. Coming just what we just witnessed, and we'll make a pass out of the double team. And Duckworth turned it over. Good move by Michael. The goaltending call was made not because the ball was touched, but that the backboard was hit while the ball was in contact with the backboard. Therefore, if you punch it hard enough, it could roll or make it roll off the rim. That's where the call took place. Drexler has returned. Open shot. Jerome Percy is hit four of five. Sixteen. Robinson, they didn't push the ball down. They must push it to get easy transition points. Here's Drexler. Ten points for Clyde Drexler. He's complaining. He thought it was Fines was on. The steal by Kersher. Two on one. Drexler. And then right after it, Bill Cartwright trying to feed Williams again. Instead, it winds up in Kersey's hands, who initiates the break with Clyde finishing in the end. So it's turnovers that lead to the easy scores for the Trailblazers. When Kersey bumped into them, then Clyde took off and got the score. Last touch by Scott Williams. Michael Jordan anticipates the double team, tries to split and hit to Scott Williams, but instead of his hands, it hits off his thigh and out of bounds. And a decision for Rick Adam of your state with Brian Drexler playing with the three. Michael Jordan with 18 points. The Bulls now lead 47-32. There's Jordan hobbling back 
down four. He stepped on somebody's either camera or on the belt attached to the camera, and that's where he turned the ankle. And they're taking a timeout now with Jordan having the bad ankle. As he called for the 22nd timeout, and Chicago right, trainer Jeff Schaefer will check it out. After he shoots it and fades to the baseline, here's where he steps on it and goes down, tangled up with the camera people along the baseline. A little better look. There it is on the right side of the screen. Jordan slipping and turning that left ankle. Over to Ahmad Rashad. All right, Marv, that is exactly what happened. Michael stepped on one of the cameras and twisted his ankle, so he came over and Chip Schaefer uh, we taped the ankle. Michael said he's fine and he's back out on the court. Ability to win games two and four. Here's Stacey King. Michael will also tell of his views of Clyde Drexler. In transition, King tries to hold up Drexler from getting out on the fast break. In his way, he should have just got in front of him and made Clyde go around him. Uh, this goes by 14. Point land. That's his second. It makes his drive game that much more explosive. Now goes to the drive and the pull up. Look out again, Michael Jordan going down in the midst of photographers. He took the official just cursing. Well, it's the fade after the shot along the baseline, and then the follow through, a little body contact, and then like the bowling pins on down into the crowd. Right here, you can see Duckworth just hits him and takes him into the crowd. Now, if you're a Chicago Bull fan, you gotta like the way Michael Jordan is coming out. And he's attacking. And when Michael's attacking, the fan appeal because he can also, he's on, the only player on this team consistently that can hit from the outside. Drexler squeezing through as hell. Tonight, one for four. Chicago, two for three. Foul on Stacy King. Stacy King, the master. Bob looking for Paul to take the shot. He does. Drexler. Yeah. Bill Cartwright in the back at uh, Stacy. Chicago by 13. 2.20 remaining. First half. And the foul on Drexler. And that is number four on Clyde Drexler. So Rick Adelman took the gamble. Well, it's one of those things you develop a certain confidence in your players, understanding whether they have the ability to play with fouls or not. In game number two, it worked twice for Rick Adelman. It backfires. Jordan was working down low. Portland in the midst of a 15-6 run. You can front the low post, but you can't take your arms and wrap it around and hold the player down there. That's going to be a foul. Michael Jordan, six of six from the He will be playing an active man, an offensive threat. Defensive sequence being shown by the Blazers. Shot clock at four. Ten seconds remaining before the half. So there's five shooters out there for these final seconds. And Jordan avoids Percy, and he's fouled. Percy in the face of Hugh Hollins. The foul committed with one and four ten seconds to go in the half. But this one is too obvious. You have to call it because the shove there throws Michael into the crowd. These two free throws will be Cliff Robinson's fault. He should have laid back in front of Michael Jordan and had a double team on him because his man, Scott, Scottie Pippen, was taking the ball out. How can you let Michael Jordan get the basketball with three seconds? You know he's going to get the end of the first half here in Portland. Michael Jordan, although limping off, had a sensational first half. 27 points for Jordan. Hey, guys. Now, while you are watching this classic NBA content, Please be so kind and subscribe to our channel and click the notification button. It only takes a second for you, but for us this means the world. Thank you very much. And now let's continue with the best of NBA basketball. He will not have the same problems guarding. He's on Paxson as much as possible. Well, he had a switch off to Jordan, who opens up by hitting the jumper. Be a double team, but when... Uh, Duckworth would be in double team. They have no cutters, no ball cutters, and that's why he's having a struggle out of the double team. Here's a breakaway for Pippen and slam dunk. They're very upset. They felt that there should have been a foul call down low inside. Hyde's upset. The bench is upset. Adelman's upset. The Blazers, 56. Marwood. Back 
door. Beautiful play set up by uh, well, Michael Jordan. It does it because he moves so well without the ball. He'll back cut you, and then Pippen gets the good look at the rim with the size as a 6'7 or 6'8 passer. Live Brecks were playing with four fouls. Goes to the spin, and he draws the person. Pulls back. Caught right hand, rotated across, and was waiting to try and pick up the offensive foul. Which I don't good. know if he will come up under him and try to take the offensive uh, charge. And that's, that's the, the third quarter. Not close. Shot clock at five. And that's a travel call on Jordan. Seven minutes to go in the third quarter. Jordan eluding Drexler. So Michael Jordan has 33 points. Jordan on a flash post. Clyde knows he's beaten, so he gambles and goes to the steal because he's late recovery, and then that's just a clear path to the basket. They led 10 to 2. They built the big lead in the first half. Here's Jordan. And when the switch takes place, either Clyde lines up to not get into the offense. Robinson. Double team got it back out. Here's Porter. The shot by Porter, a miss, but the perfect timing by Clyde to follow him. Porter, that's two-point land. He can't buy one. He's 0 for 6 from the field. Here's Pippen. I don't want to keep harping on this, but when the Bulls get double-teamed, they always find the open man. When Portland gets double-teamed, they cannot find the open man. They get a turnover or a bad pass with Michael Jordan called for his fourth. Michael trying to move the feet, makes Clyde turn, and it's the reach in for the swipe from behind where the foul is called. Phil Jackson and Michael Jordan had to do with play Drexler, and we'll take Michael and put him on Ainge or something like that. Here's Jordan. Nice backdoor setup from Scott Williams. In zone trap in half court. Livingston is back, replacing Grant, who a moment ago picked up his fourth. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan with 39 points. And Robinson rebounds. Bulls able to get back. Wexler, let's see what the call is. Blocking foul. As we can see, Portland has that small unit in. Now, what they're going to try to do here is, is Portland rebounds a game in the series. Oh, the rejection by Jordan. Beautiful team defense. We saw Michael Jordan coming to block this shot, and notice he comes inside, left hand out. That avoids the body contact. If he would have come with the right hand, he probably would have collided chest on back. The genuine draft donates $1,000 to the third good marshal, scholarship foul. And the foul is called. Good fake by Jordan to pick up number five on Drexler. Yeah, the a few moments, the other end now, ball fake, get Clyde in the air, and then put number five on him. Personal foul, number five on Clyde Drexler. 12 for 14 from the line. Because the game has dictated him not to be able to play that small unit. And the foul against Jordan. And that is five on Michael Jordan. Jordan used his arm to clear a path. The free arm, the right arm, the hold Ainge off, and thereby being allowed to catch the ball. Ainge liked it. Jordan didn't. Five apiece on Jordan and Drexler. Jordan. 43 for Michael Jordan. And the ball's lead 109 to 91. Well, the pressure that Portland is trying is a full court man to man pressure. When you face guard, they back cut you and then take advantage of the numbers. Smart play, smart move. You can see the skill level of Robinson. He's thrown three or four excellent passes. Beautiful block by Drexler. Ainge for three. Rebound, Drexler. The ball's 109. Blazers 97. On the other end, Pippen thinks he has a layup, and Clyde comes out of nowhere and rejects him and leads to a fast break. Pax, look, Pax is not going to try and go by him. Jordan. And he is clobbered. Well, the path was there for Michael to go by Clyde. Clyde can't afford to pick up his sixth foul. Jordan has uh, missed 12. Portland, 101, 245 to go. And the fourth. And the call against Drexler. 
So he is fouled out. Number six for Drexler. Second time this series that he's fouled out. And he leaves with 30 to not shoot well. The defensive man is on the move. The offensive man is on the move. And now you have to decide whether or not the defensive player has established his position. Is Pippen there before the body contact? It's such a close, hard call to make. Jake O'Donnell, one of the best, making it. Portland is down to one full timeout and 120 remaining. And it seems that the Blazers have been picking them up in the most inopportune moments. Jordan for the foul. The third foul, he was so worried about Jake is, 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 is the best official in the NBA. Now, if there, if it be a seven, he came out to prove them all wrong tonight. And he's pointed out that golf is his way of, of relaxing. And Pippen just did get it off. Beating the 20. Now Jordan sits down, and he leaves with 46 points. Hudson. Final seconds, and the Bulls come away with a 119 victory to go up three games to two in this best of seven NBA final. Michael Jordan, 14 for 23 from the field, 16 of 19 from the line for 46 points. Scoring. So that was it for today's video. We hope you had fun watching this classic NBA content of the golden age of NBA basketball. Make sure you check out our channel for more videos like this one. Hope to see you next time on NBA Basement.